again. We have given a linear transformation A, which does that, and we have to find the inverse of A. Well, let's change this into a matrix and find, find it that way. So um, A as a matrix is equal to oops, 1 over root 2, 1 over root 2, 1 over root 2, and minus 1 over root 2. So the inverse is equal to 1 over. Product of that is a negative a half. Subtract product of that, which is a half. That's a negative 1. Then we swap the positions of those two. We get negative 1 over root 2, 1 over root 2. And put negatives with the others. Negative 1 over root 2. Root 2. This is all negative 1, so we end up with hmm, what we had in the first place. So, as an inverse, just writing it out then, so we've got, we've got A inverse then, XY, it's just the same as we had in the first place. X plus Y over root 2. Now what's going on here uh, is that it's just a reflection. This this is just representing a reflection in a line, and of course you reflect it one way, and the inverse of that is to reflect it back again. So um, that's why that is the inverse. Let's just find out what that is. Just not that it's asked in the question, but just just so this is a reflection matrix. In which case we get cosine of twice the angle is one over root two. So that twice the angle is pi by 4, so the angle itself is pi by 8. So what this is, is a reflection in the line y equals tan pi by 8 x. Though we didn't need to do that. Okay, stop there.